Are you sure you're okay? Well, I'm still just a little bit shaky, but I guess that's to be expected after everything you've been through. Yeah. Can I help my children? I have water, bandages. I'm fine, sister, but can I please have some water for my mother? Of course. Thank you. I don't remember much, but was that an earthquake? Yeah, I think so. Everything is a mess. Everything's been thrown all over the place. I bet the chapel's a mess, too. What about the weddings tomorrow? Well, I, I don't know. The chapel looks like it's all right. I mean, structurally. I mean, things just need to be put back in their place and cleaned up a little. So you think we'll be able to have the weddings here? Nothing would stop me from marrying you. <laughs> you are all very lucky. The other said there was some sort of poison tonight. You. you could have all died. I know, sister. The Lord must have been watching all of us. Excuse me, sister? Yes, my child. Do you, know, you look awfully familiar somehow. Do I know you? Have we met before? I'm sorry, I don't know you. Are you sure? Because I really feel like we've met before. I just know that we've met before. No, I, I think not, ma'am. I've only just been assigned to this parish. Oh, all right. Then I hope we become good friends. Thank you for your help tonight. It was nothing. Good night. You two have really made a big difference. Yeah, I know. She won't let me stop for a minute. I hope this isn't a preview of what married life is going to be like. <laughs> hey, we're getting married tomorrow, and it has to look beautiful. And it will. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Even after tonight's disaster, there will still be four beautiful weddings tomorrow. Yes. What is it they say in the theater? A bad dress rehearsal means you'll have a wonderful opening night? Well, then we will have the most wonderful wedding. <laughs> I love that. Well, after everything we've been through, we're lucky we still have a tomorrow. Well, then just say a prayer of gratitude for tonight, huh? Does it matter what happened here today? Because we still have joy and hope coming tomorrow. Hey. You all right? I, uh... I heard what you said about joy and hope, and well, no, but it really doesn't include me because I'm not really feeling a lot of hope. Tomorrow, Ethan is going to renew his vows to Gwen, and then that's it. And that will be his wife. I'll never feel joy again. Tomorrow's going to come for everyone but me.